So when we started about eight years ago from today, uh, we got connected to a couple of API first companies, which was unique in, in, at that time. Uh, we got access to think about your largest peer-to-peer -peer payment platform, your largest credit card companies. Again, what was unique about these companies are these are API first companies because they are connecting to other banks, other financial institutes, other credit cards, large merchants. But also these APIs were well documented for developers to use the platform. And the problem they were suffering from was the bots were creating lots and lots of fake accounts in the order of millions per day, and then committing fraud through these burner accounts that they're creating through these APIs. And so we approached it also in a very different way than the solutions at that time, which were predominantly solving it for web and mobile applications. We looked at it as an API first problem, and we solved it by creating the, the first API protection solution for these companies. Fast forward eight years, this problem is ubiquitous. Everybody has you know, APIs and they're exploding in nature. And so we have customers such as these two companies that I mentioned, but also two out of the big three telcos in the US. Uh, we have the largest credit union in the country as a customer. We have the largest credit card company in the world as a, as a customer. We have the largest um, mutual fund company in the world as a customer. We have customers in the social media dating platform. So problem is everywhere. Um, it has expanded tremendously since the last eight years. And I'm very happy that we approached the problem in the way we did, which is a API protection solution way back eight years ago. So ever since we launched um, uh, Sequence Security, we've expanded the platform to cover all stages of API security lifecycle, um, starting from discover, then detect, and then actually defend. And we are the only platform that can actually scale to the to to larger enterprise enterprises. Um, just talking about Sequence by the numbers, we are protecting more than six billion API transactions every day. Uh, more than $1.3 trillion in customer assets and 2 billion plus accounts. We actually host one of the largest threat defense databases around API security. And then we can actually deploy it in pretty much in any customer environments, ranging from complete SaaS to complete on-prem on or in a hybrid environment. Uh, we are the only platform that can actually do the prevention. Um, so rather than signaling other systems, we can actually take actions ourselves uh, and, and, and mitigate these threats. When we were talking to customers about uh, unified API protection, one of the problems that they were actually struggling with is where are the APIs actually hosted? It, what API uh, Spider provides is an outside win, outside in view of, of your APIs or where these APIs are actually hosted. And that actually becomes the tip of the iceberg of how, where do I start my API security journey? So today APIs are completely ubiquitous. Everybody has APIs, whether they're interacting with their end customers or B2B2C. So they're communicating with other businesses, effectively communicating with end consumers. So anybody who has APIs publicly exposed or is building platforms to support customers, business partners, employees, communicating with them through APIs should come to sequence to have the unified API protection protect these APIs. So on our eighth uh, birthday um, as a company, we are starting API Bytes, a short video that we'll get out every Tuesday, talking about some kind of API protection challenges with customers. We could be talking about new vulnerabilities. We could be talking about new research. We could be talking about case studies. So with that, we also want to say that next Tuesday, we will be launching a new video that will cover some of the research that our CQ Prime team has done and is ready to share with the rest of the world.